Diddy Damn, Arthur. and me was supposed to be a group. Yeah, that's crazy. I caught up. I think we all got caught up in a moment. We was talking about it and having secret meetings about it. We were talking about music and how we gonna flip it. And the <laughs> So Usher is speaking on interesting stuff when it comes to Diddy and also a major update in a recent lawsuit. Hey guys, it's Marab Raleigh. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button. It is daily and consistent content coming to you from Dubai. Comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And let's get straight into this video and get into what is going on here. So. P. Diddy, Usher, he did, Usher did an um, interview with Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp is taking January by storm. His Cat Williams interview went absolutely viral. Major congrats to him. And this interview with Usher right before his Super Bowl performance, you know, I think is very interesting. But what I think is really interesting is that Usher actually mentioned and spoke about P. Diddy in this interview. Chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you saying? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, <laughs> and it was, but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was, it was pretty wild. Diddy Damn, Arthur. and me was supposed to be a group. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, you're gonna hate me for that. I know. Yeah. Why you why did you say no? I didn't say no. You didn't say yeah? <laughs> I didn't say yeah. <laughs> You said yeah on the record, but you didn't say yeah to that. <laughs> all got caught up in a moment. We was talking about it and having secret meetings about it. We were talking about music and how we gonna flip it and the, the business of it. And somehow, man, we just got distracted. 14 years old. You're a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to Puffy Camp? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> it mentioned that he was having secret meetings with Diddy and the fact that P, P Diddy, Usher, Pharrell and Jay-Z were actually meant to be in a group together. Now, I think mentioning Diddy was something that he was hesitant to do. He mentioned Jay-Z, Pharrell, and then he sighed and actually mentioned Diddy. But also with everything going on with Diddy right now, and with even the slight relations and conversations about how Jay-Z might be involved in XYZ or, you know, is he, is he not? How does he know XYZ? It was just a very odd thing for Usher to do. I don't understand why he said this. And for the fact that, you know, the fact that they were meant to be in a group together highlights that they are extremely close as friends, which to me shows that Jay-Z, Pharrell, and even Usher probably knew things that Diddy were doing. Usher grew up with the P. Diddy flavored camps, puff flavored camps when he was young and etc. Knew things that Diddy was doing, so much so that they were going to be in a group together. And I just find that to be odd, bizarre, and I'm glad it didn't happen, but I find it weird that Usher even mentioned Diddy's name because I think that is something that he should not have done. Now, when it comes to the latest lawsuit update with the 17 year old at the time, it looks like Diddy is, you know, being shot at and clapped back at by the legal team of the woman. They are really coming forth in this legal document where they are saying Jane Doe and her legal team are filing a counter motion against Diddy claiming he only wanted to reveal her identity so she can be publicly ridiculed. In their documents obtained by Megan Cuniff, her team says Diddy only wants to malign the woman simply because she's a victim. Plaintiff's motion established that it would be appropriate to permit Miss Doe, who alleges that she was gang R-worded by defendants when she was a 17-year-old high schooler, to continue to proceed, um, you know, anonymously. Defendants' opposition papers only reinforce that fact. Indeed, it is now even more clear that defendants' opposition is not based on any real fear or prejudice that they will suffer, particularly during the pretrial phase of the action, if Ms. Doe's identity is not revealed to the public. Rather, defendants want to out Ms. Doe so that they can publicly malign her get this guys, because she is the victim of a completely separate set of wrongdoings that occurred nearly two decades after the events underlying to this action. So this is interesting because this inadvertently, in my opinion, kind of confirms that it is Tierra Marie, because it says in these court documents that there was something else that this particular Jane Doe went through publicly where she was a victim and of a set of wrongdoings that occurred two, dec two decades afterwards. And that could be in relation to a lawsuit with 50 Cent and our 50 Cent is trying to get his money back from her and she's refusing to pay. She's refusing to, you know, accept the knowledge and try it or she can't afford it or etc etc so diddy wants to humiliate her by saying look it's this same girl who's fighting with 50 so you know clearly she's a fraud because she's a fraud here as well that is what it screams to me but it could also be anybody else but this new filing document clearly gives us another nugget as to who this could be but diddy and his lawyers in my opinion stand no chance and it also says in this document pre-trial which means that this particular case could go to trial if diddy does not a settle or if she does not agree to the settlement if she does not want 
the settlement, then it could go to draw. Well, let's not forget, some of these SA victims who've sued him could say, I don't want no damn settlement. I don't want your money. I'm taking your ass to trial. I'm gonna publicly humiliate you. That could very well take place. And this is what also this is suggesting. So it does not look good for Diddy in any capacity at all when it comes to this new lawsuit update and Usher speaking on him in regards to how they were meant to be a group together. And that in itself is just bizarre because Jay-Z, Diddy, Pharrell, Usher, groups, the freak off allegations with regards to Cassie, other celebrities spoke out about what they've seen or they have to do things to expedite their careers. Not a good thing, not a good look. Ill, ill, ill. Make of this what you will. Do subscribe to the channel. Click that button guys, it is daily and consistent content. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video.